If I had to take a snapshot of the last 365 days of my life, I would have to say it would be pretty blurry. Last year, I was crowned Mrs. Massachusetts 2014, and my year has been, you guessed it, crazy. I had the opportunity to represent my state of Massachusetts at the national pageant. First to my husband, Michael, thank you so much for encouraging me to not only compete at the Mrs. Massachusetts pageant, but of course dealing with all the drama, chaos, and of course lack of food on the way to Mrs. America. I love you and thank you so much. My beautiful daughter, Charlie, you are the reason why I get up every single morning and because of you, I chose my platform of the March of Dimes. Thank you so much, baby girl, for being the precocious, rambunctious, and of course, sweetest little girl on the planet. To my other husband, aka my husband, Rocky Graziano, thank you so much for all of your time, your countless text messages, and of course, traveling all the way to Arizona to watch me compete. I love you so much, and thank you for being the best friend any girl could ask for. Heather and Diane Erickson, Words cannot express how much it meant to me that you traveled 2,000 miles to come see me compete at Mrs. America. I love you both so much and thank you for coming into my life. To Gaspar Cruz, thank you for taking my design and making it into the most beautiful gown I've ever seen. You're right, winners do wear yellow. Erica Cruz Weller of Pageant Prep, your guidance, support, and of course your patience dealing with this crazy client is beyond words. Love you so much. My amazing fitness sponsor, Jeff Butterworth and Jenna Tang of RX Strength Training. Where do I begin? Not only were you both such an integral and important role in getting me ready for Mrs. America, but the fact that Littlefoot babysits? Priceless. Greg Moreo and Mark Defang, thank you so much for helping me make Paul Revere sexy. My best friends, Kristen Starziano and Debbie Parkinson, thank you both for trying to understand the best way that you can that this pageant girl is nuts. Jennifer Hardy, how many breakdowns did I have before Mrs. America? Thank you for always answering my text messages no matter the time or the hour or how busy you were. You were so much help in my preparation for Mrs. America. Miss Margie, Seeing you in the front row on preliminary night literally gave me life. You are the sweetest woman and I am so thankful to have had you as a director. To Liza, Mrs. Maine, you were the best roommate at Nationals and we had some really fun times. Like only showering twice the whole week we were there, having a giant arachnid in our room, and of course constantly asking ourselves, how did we get here? I love you, and always remember, hey girl, hey. To the rest of the class of 2014, you ladies made that week amazing and unforgettable. Thank you so much for such a great time. To my sister Laureen and her amazing family, I cannot express how important it is to me that you are always at every pageant for me. This is the day. And to Laureen, I know I didn't lace up some skates or put on some cleats, but the fact that you've always supported me in all of my pageant endeavors means the world to me. I love you. To my mother, Teresa, I know you spent a lot of money for me to wear this crown, and I can't imagine what life would be like without you. From watching Charlie so I could go to the gym, to sending me daily lists of things to do, and all around being my biggest cheerleader, even though you may be the best micromanager this side of the Mason-Dixon line. I love you and thank you for everything. And finally, to my successor, welcome to this crazy family. And just know that I will be there for you every step of the way. And for the last time, as Mrs. Massachusetts 2014, but certainly not the last time on a stage, I am Monique Taylor, signing off.